Hello beauties, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing great. In today's video, we are going to see how I created this glass skin makeup look. This makeup is going to be really easy with simple techniques. Let's get started. To begin with, I am going to prep my face using the minimalist 0.3% retinol serum. I am adding this as a first step to bring out that glow to our final makeup look. Now, if you are someone who has oily skin, you can totally skip this and add a serum that has hyaluronic acid in it. This will help in adding that extra moisture and glow to your naturally glowing face. Next up, I am going to use the Sugar Most Eligible Color Correcting Primer. This is peachy in color. This will even out the uneven skin pigmentation and also helps in hiding the fine lines. I am going to apply this on areas where I don't want any shine like around my mouth and areas around my eyes etc. This is going to smoothen the skin and give us the satin finish that we desire. Next up, I am going to be using the Sugar Rage for Coverage Foundation in the shade Borgia. This foundation is pretty thick and this shade is slightly warmer for my skin tone. I am going to dot this on my face where I want the face to have a bronzer effect or a natural sun kissed effect. Basically I am going to be applying this on the sides of my cheeks, on my forehead and the sides of my nose. I am going to blend this really well with the help of a wet beauty blender. The key here is to press the foundation into the skin to get that naturally airbrushed effect. Next up, I am going to be using the Mama Earth foundation in the shade Almond Glow. This foundation is not matte and it adds a glow to your face. This is a shade lighter and cooler for my complexion. We are going to be totally avoiding the highlighter here as this foundation will do that job. Again, I am blending this well with the help of a beauty blender. Next up, I am going to be applying this blush from Root Cosmetics. This is in the shade Shortcake. This is a pretty dusty pink shade that gives a beautiful flush of color to your face. I am taking a bit and warming it on my hand. This way it is going to give me the control on the amount of pigment that I want on my cheeks. I am going to dab this little by little on the high points of my cheekbone. This blush is very creamy and matte and it is easily blendable. This shade actually gives a naturally blushed look to your face. Now that we are done with blush, we will move to our next step. I am going to fix the foundation and blush with a dewy setting spray from Sugar Cosmetics. I am going to spray this only on the areas that I want to be dewy and shiny, like on the forehead and the cheeks, not on the eyes or around the eyes. Now I am going to set the foundation around the eyes and around the mouth with the help of a setting powder. This will help in preventing the foundation from becoming cakey and cracky. Now that we are done creating this dewy effect, let's move to the eyes. I am going to shape my brows using the Sugar Pop Brow Definer. I am combing my brow hair down to define the brows and intensifying them a little. This is slightly grayish in color and this has the right amount of pigmentation. It is not too stark on your eyebrows. I am just filling the sparse areas of my brows to make them look fuller and thicker. I am going to use a sugar pop eyeliner pen. I am just drawing a very thin line close to my lash line and slightly winging it out. I don't want a too dramatic look uh, for my eyes today because I am anyways going to be wearing false lashes. So I am just slightly winging it out and forming a very thin line on my uh, lashes. I am using the sugar pop kajal and applying a thin line on my waterline. This kajal is really smooth and buttery guys. It's very very soft while you are applying and it is thick black in color. I have not tried whether it is smudge proof or not but this is really good. Next up I am going to curl the lashes using the eyelash curler. Curling your lashes is very important before you apply your mascara. Because when you apply your mascara and your lashes are not curled it's going to look straight and it is not going to be lifted at all. I am going to apply mascara. This is the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. I have a lot of new mascara guys but this is what I always trust. This gives that lifted effect that no other mascara gives. I am going to apply these falsies and I will be right back. Now I am going to line my lips with the Sugar Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Wood by Nude. This is a nice woody brown color. I am lining my lips with the help of this lip liner and then I am going to smear the color towards the inside of my lips with the help of a lip brush. 
I'm trying to create a new lip color here because I wanted to have something natural on my lips which is not so bright or not so uh, dull as well. Now I'm going to be using this uh, Swiss Beauty cream and tint. Uh, this is a very nice brown color. I'm going to be using this as a contour today because I don't want to use any product that is so you know thick uh, this is a very nice brown so i'm just going to dab it on areas on my forehead where i want it to look little bit contoured i'm also going to apply this along my nose and along my jawline this is going to give that natural bronzed effect to the skin voila finally we have achieved the glass skin makeup look i really liked this look very much and i also like the process of filming this whole video I hope you uh, guys also like this. This is a very nice natural fresh look without looking too much uh, made up. That's it for this video guys. I hope you really liked this video. Please hit the like button if you really liked it. Please subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear from you. Please comment in the comment section about how you like this video. See you again in my next video. Tata. See you.